It's been overwhelming for both of us. So, uh, but we, you know, right now, um, my time is truly the Royce. I mean, I've been really occupied with them trying to get uh, the new restaurant up and running. So, so thanks for tuning in. This is the Bold Black and Gifted Show, where we bring you black excellence, pride, soul, and inspiration. I am your host, Kieri Akita, and today, we are sitting down with Walter Carpenter, the owner of the new classy and upscale restaurant in Polaris. We get to talk to him about how he took his vision, his dream, and he manifested it into the excellent restaurant that we now know as the Royce. So stay tuned, grab your favorite drink, and we're gonna have Walter spill the tea on this excellent new restaurant. And one day and have a great burger and next day you have a steak on date night uh, the next day you have a sea bass and a pasta dish so we wanted to kind of guide you through and have different experiences on different nights and so as you can see on our menu I mean we have a, a multiple amount of starters on the menu so most restaurants may have you know three or four appetizers we have a good amount uh, because we want to make sure that you are having uh, you know maybe two or three starters just to have some fun and kind of share some items and and create that emotion at the table and I think that's what we're trying to do is that evoke some, some love and passion uh, when you're dining in a restaurant. And I think the biggest thing for us is that, you know, I told Chef, when you add some salt in the ingredients, add some pepper, but also add some nostalgia. So some items that kind of make take you back when I was here or when I was there. And I think that's the fun thing about the menu is that it kind of takes you back maybe when you were a child or maybe you're having SpaghettiOs uh, that makes you have, a, you know, or the chocolate chip cookies and things of that nature. So just, just different elements of the menu. A good week with the team to help them perfect those recipes. So uh, all for Mama. She's from Winston-Salem, and, and uh, I wanted to pay tribute to her on the menu as well. So that's working out pretty good for us. And uh, the peach cobbler uh, is our number one song dessert, and the macaroni and cheese obviously is a distant second, but it's still wonderful as well. Absolutely. It was, uh, as I was working on this particular location, uh, I was trying to parlay that into some consulting and make sure I was touching all areas of the business as well. So I felt uh, in my uh, in-between time, I can lend my expertise to some other restaurants that were looking out. And actually someone reached out to me, so uh, it kind of was a happenstance situation, but uh, he reached out and I spent some time with him and helped him with his place and just worked on a little bit of service and hospitality, uh, touched the menu a little bit, touched the decor just a little bit. Uh, but the, within that time, uh, it was just an amazing time to do that. And I just felt that it was, you know, they say each one teach one. So I was just trying to teach them how to, to do certain things in a different way. I agree. It, it's definitely a true uh, passion project for us. I mean, I've, uh, uh, it's something I wanted to do for years and I had the opportunity to do. Uh, and uh, it's been well received. I mean, I, I went out uh, personally, did all the shopping, all the design for the restaurant. Oh, wow. And um, so, you know, every day I was going out to thrift stores and uh, different stores buying the antique lamps and the antique phone and some things like that. Uh, so just to make it uh, special and different. I love about the antiques because uh, you won't find five of these phones. You'll no. just have one, uh, seven of these lamps, just be one lamp. So that way you have things just unique to the property, which I think is a special touch. So I wanted to take the old and new and kind of smash them together. So you have some older elements uh, within the space, but also some new elements that makes the restaurant feel cool and this unique. This episode was brought to you by The Royce Columbus, which can be found at theroycecolumbus.com. You can also find them on Instagram and Facebook. The Royce Columbus is a new, classy, elegant, and upscale restaurant, which is also affordable and accessible. The Royce has excellent food, family-owned recipes, excellent drinks, all created by their manager and their bartender, a very unique menu that touches on soul food and reminds us of home, but also gives us that upscale vibe with these higher-end menu items. The Royce has a very unique atmosphere with a vintage feeling with things like record players, old rotary phones in the decorating scheme, lots of bronze, navy blue, unique and abstract art. The place definitely brings you that heart and soul and that essence of blackness. While it stays true to who we are as a people, it also reminds us that professionalism, excellence, and things being, what's the word? It reminds us that, it reminds us that excellence 
and elegance are all accessible and a part of our community. I'm a guy who I'm not. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't worry about trying to roll my R's and make sure my T's are, are dotted or crossed in the right way. I try to make sure people have an amazing time. And so that's the goal. And so some restaurants, you, you, you have people may have try to morph into a certain guy. Uh, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to do what I can to make sure I am representing myself, representing my family, and showing my boys that this is something that you should be aspiring to do, uh, uh, not in terms of restaurant business, but just being a great black person, trying to make sure you're moving yourself in this world today and navigating through a very difficult time. And so uh, as my young men or, or my young kings are uh, you know, uh, high 20s and 30 years old, I mean, it's a very scary time that we're in. And so uh, I encourage them to uh, be themselves and be who they are uh, and, and be smart and be safe uh, but also, you know, be down with the cause or whatever they believe in, be 100% down with that and don't shy away from that. And right. so that is really important for me and my family. And so uh, my wife is an activist as well. And she is, um, she heads up a diversity group at Columbus State. And so she talks to interpreters about diversity in the interpreting world. And so she's traveled to LA and Cincinnati and uh, Oregon and all those different places talking about diversity in her field and so uh, so we champion that we're, we're all about that and so uh, in terms of hiring people we hire uh, the best people for the job so we don't say well, we want to hire four black and three white we're saying let's hire the best people for the job yes. and so uh, uh, there is some amazing black servers and some amazing white servers out there and we kind of grab them all mm -hmm. and so uh, we had a young lady the other day said, I've never met an owner like you, and I've been in the restaurant business for 15 years. And so, uh, but my goal is just to make sure that everyone feels the same yes. uh, and everyone is in the right space and everyone comes to the restaurant feeling great and treating people all the right way. And so, and it's just about having a level of professionalism and how you carry yourself and how you run the business is that you have to run in a certain way and that's on a very high level. And right. so we're going to shoot for excellence every single day. We probably won't get there, but we're shooting for that. And so in terms of, uh, like I said, in terms of uniforms and personality and mindset and things like that and dealing with what's happening in the world today, we're very mindful of that uh, when things happen in our community that we have to look at for and say, okay, well, this is happening in our community, so let's be mindful of that. Let's talk about that. If somebody wants to talk about to us about it, let's talk about it. But it, it has to happen because the world is different. And our people uh, have supported the restaurant like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I have been blown away by the level of support uh, of a black business owner. And it's just so kudos to Columbus. Uh, and not only Columbus, but Cincinnati. And Cle I mean, we have people driving from literally three to four nights a week. We have people say, I drove from Cincinnati to have dinner here. Oh, wow. uh, I drove from Cleveland to have dinner here. Uh, we had a group of... Uh, on Saturday of 24 people, uh, 24 ladies that all came from Cleveland to have dinner here to celebrate her birthday here. Uh, we had a lady who came in for lunch the other day, drove up from Detroit. I said, what's going on? She said, I, was, I came here just to have lunch. She said, I had to come because I saw it on Facebook and this is a place I wanted to come and try. And so I drove the three hours just to be a part of the Royce. And so uh, we take that and wear it like a badge of honor and we want to make sure that we uh, handle ourselves in the right way and, and take the responsibility and say we we take it we love it we're going to wear it and let's just move forward so everything for us is about moving forward how can we move forward how can we change the dynamic and how can we change the restaurant industry and it only takes one person to change it and i want to be able to change how people look at the restaurants in columbus and so i want people to be well taken care of and we're shooting for that every single day we just finished interviewing with Walter, so we have two of our guests here, these two beautiful ladies. Um, could you tell me your names, please? Hi, I'm Tanya. I'm Toya. Okay, so Tanya and Toya, tell me, um, out of, you know, we have all these big anchor restaurants around us right now. What made you two choose to come to the Royce this afternoon? Well, first of all, we chose to come here today because, first of all, it's black owned, and we wanted to support one of our sorority sisters, Royce, and her husband. And we are Delta Six, members of Delta Sigma Theta, and so we, um, I've been here before, once before, the service and the food is delicious, so we wanted, I wanted to come back, and this is Toya's first time, and wonderful so, experience. wonderful experience, wonderful service, wonderful food, and I couldn't wait to come back. Wonderful, and how about 
So echoing, yes, I just always wanted to support. I like supporting African American businesses. Voice is a really good friend of mine, and so I wanted to make sure I supported her and her husband in this endeavor. Um, I heard the food is phenomenal, and so I wanted to experience it for myself. And I did let Voice know today I have not sat in a restaurant since COVID began. She is my first one, so I am making sure that she understands how important it is for me to support her and this adventure. Wonderful, and I see you did. You came out during the COVID madness and everything, and you were still here to support this beautiful restaurant. So tell me, what are your impressions of the restaurant, the food? How are you feeling? The atmosphere is beautiful. I can't say enough about it. I can't wait till COVID is over so we actually can eat inside, but we're enjoying this lovely day and enjoying the food. And again, the service has really been wonderful as well, so I can't say enough positive things about the experience. Same here. I'm actually looking forward to coming back with some other family and friends. Um, this is my first experience, but the, the ambiance is beautiful. It's uh, very high-end, you know, which I don't expect anything less than that from the carpenters. But it's been a really great experience so far, and the food is phenomenal. Wonderful. Thank you, so much. having a good time. time. So. Yes. <laughs> So tell me, um, what were your first impressions when you came here? I know you said that you came after hearing it from the Columbus Dispatch. Uh, so what are your first impressions of the restaurant? I'm impressed. They're very friendly. They've got good food. Wonderful. They've got separation of tables, so we don't have to worry about... Yes, everybody has to with yeah. the pandemic and everything. Wonderful. And how was your lunch? Thank you. Oh, just more than we can eat. More than we can eat. <laughs> That's right. Wonderful. We divided sandwiches and uh, we've got to sample two different kinds. Oh, nice. Right. Beetle oh, Wittenberg. Beautiful. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. So I heard that you two drove down from Cleveland. Yes. Okay. We drove down to Cle uh, from Cleveland. Um, I found out about this restaurant from a college roommate, Capital uh -huh. University. We graduated like 40 years ago. Uh -huh. So she brought me here first. Then this past Saturday was my 62nd birthday, and I brought 25 people down here from Cleveland. That was you? Yes. Oh, you were here? Oh, that. yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was, was me. So today I had to come back down to do a little more shopping. So, hey, we had to come here. So that's why we're here. Wonderful. You look beautiful, and happy birthday, by the way. So um, tell me, when you first came, what was your first impression? Elegant exquisite luxury those are the three words absolutely you nailed it it's elegant luxury absolutely yeah. so and then with the meals um, i know the food has been the talk of the town lately everybody's so excited about this restaurant tell me um how was the food here excellent excellent i always well so far i've only gotten the braised beef because mm -hmm. i'm a you know i'm like that if i like something i keep getting that getting that but today i'm trying the new york strip Wonderful, wonderful. I know this is a wonderful place. Br lunch, brunch, all of that. And you know what else I would call it? Affordable luxury. Yes, absolutely. It definitely is. Yes, yes. Because there was another place, I will not name this place, that someone suggested. But when I went online to look at their offerings, to me, it was just a bit pricey, you know. And you can come here. It's affordable, it's beautiful. Walter and his family are wonderful. I love the fact that it's family owned and operated and yeah, I love it. Yeah, I absolutely love it too. And Walter is a wonderful man. I got to meet him and his nephew today. I didn't even realize his nephew owns a soup business as well. So um, the reason that we're doing this show is that we felt like it is very important for us to show multiple audiences, but particularly our youth, Six, black people being successful, being bold, black, and gifted. And so I was really excited to meet him here and show people, you know, successful people of color out here really doing their thing. Oh, and a 30-year-old young lady, my roommate's, uh, my college roommate's daughter, mm -hmm. she suggested this place, okay? So I, I didn't know about it. Her mom heard about it, but she brought us here. A 30-year-old brought us here. Wonderful. So had she not invited me here, I wouldn't know about it. Right, you wouldn't so, have even known. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know the word of mouth is very important. So speaking of word of mouth, if you have people who have Googled it, passed by it, and they're thinking of coming, but they're on the fence, what would you tell them? Come, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself, come. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, our beautiful queen. Thank you. You too enjoy your lunch. Thank you so much. So what's your favorite family recipe? For me, it will definitely be that Southern mac and cheese that my mother got from her mother. They all add a little special ingredient that we can't share with anybody, but I definitely love making that recipe. So what's your favorite family recipe? Leave it in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys are making that has been passed down from generation to generation. If you would like more information about the Royce, check them out at theroycecolumbus.com. Also make sure to like and follow them on Instagram and Facebook so you can get all the good pictures, keep up with the events, learn when he adds new items to the menu, make sure that you can be ready to order your fall cocktails. So make sure to check them out on social media, like and follow, and also like and follow our network as well so we can keep you in the loop on black excellence in our city. So for more of the Bold, Black, and Gifted show, make sure to follow the Unbossed Network on Facebook, and we will make sure to bring you more black excellence every Sunday at five. So make sure to tune in so we can deliver to you the Bold, Black, and Gifted show. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again. If you're tired of mainstream media outlets selecting news stories and events that don't appeal to black America, then become a member of the Unbossed Network today, where we are the voice of black America and providing coverage of events and news stories that you won't hear anywhere else. Visit theunbossednetwork.com to become a member today.